back to the combo cabal i am your host brent cook and today we are playing a donation deck from tyler carden tyler as always your support for this channel is very much appreciated and tyler has submitted ad nauseum tendrils tyler's favorite legacy deck uh this is actually pretty similar to the list that we played last time that tyler submitted so if you haven't checked out that video uh feel free to do so uh i'll actually link it in the card above so the only difference between Tyler's last uh, video and this one was we have a Empty the Warrens in the main deck over the third copy of Wishclaw Talisman. I'm actually a pretty big fan of more Talisman in Ant, so I don't know if I love that change, but we'll see how it goes today. Uh, I just like Wishclaw a lot, and I, I think that Seven Tutors is probably closer to what Ant wants. Uh, you could shave a Preordain down, but... If you really want the empty in the main deck i'm not sure how i feel about it i don't have enough experience but this is just my off the cuff review uh when we look at the deck the differences between tes and ant are ant has you know 15 lands two basics pretty different from the epic storm at this point where we are on 13 lands five colors and no basics uh so the decks are pretty uh divergent at this point for artifact acceleration we just have lion's eye diamond and lotus petal no mox opal no chrome mox that's not what ad nauseum tendrils actually does so instead we're running um you know more cantrips like preordain and then just like more expensive cards in those slots instead of right of flame in ad nauseum tendrils we have cabal ritual so we're really just looking to abuse the card past in flames i know it's a little bit of a misnomer but ad nauseum tendrils is actually a past in flame stack and we're really looking to abuse dark ritual cabal ritual and past in flames so those are how we're going to be looking to win most games um yeah and obviously you have the classic legacy combo of infernal tutor plus lion's eye diamond to make yourself hellbent but also act as black lotus so that is the key synergy behind the ad nauseum tendril stack in the sideboard we see two copies of chain of vapor and three abrupt decay uh five answers for deafening silence is very good we even have a massacre in the board for that matchup so i'm a big fan of that uh, we have a grape shot to get around Veil of Summer, but a new addition to Tyler's list is Ave Progenitor Ooze in the sideboard. Looking forward to playing this again. We're not currently playing it in the Epic Storm, so it'll be fun to slime time once again. And um, yeah, I think it's probably going to be pretty good, especially in a deck that's running two green sources um, and carpet. So against blue decks, you're going to be able to naturally just cast Ave from hand and get them. All right, so that is my intro. If you want to be a great person like Tyler, you can always go to theepicsroom.com slash donation decks. Submit your combo deck to be featured here on this very YouTube channel. Why wouldn't you do it? It's just a wonderful thing to do. And if you sign up for our Epic tier, you can actually join us on the channel. So check out that information. Once again, theepicsroom.com slash donation decks. You can also just go directly to theepicstorm.com slash shop if you're looking to support us. We have a bunch of card singles, a lot from MH2. Go check it out. But on top of that, we also have a ton of Storm swag. Pine glasses, pens, playmat shirts, etc. We also have our brand new mini token pack coming within the week. And it will, in fact, have Ave tokens. So you will be able to represent slime time and paper. Keep an eye out for that. It is on its way. All right, and if you appreciate this video, always like, comment, subscribe, get us into that YouTube algorithm, and subscribing is just the easiest way of supporting us, so if you're not already, please subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it, and if you're already subscribed, click that uh, join button right next to it, become a member of the channel. Until the end of the month, you get early access to all videos, that's a promotion that we're doing, but on top of that, like you get access to our member section of our Discord, highlighted user profiles. In our middle tier, you get two cyborg guides every single month for free, 50% off a donation deck. And in our top tier, our combo cabal tier, you get a free donation deck every single month, early access forever, and all the other benefits. So definitely check out our membership stuff. I would greatly appreciate that. All right, that's enough shilling. I'm ready to play some ad nauseum tendrils today. Don't go anywhere. Let's slime time some fools. Welcome to round number one. We are facing Philo, who has very few Magic Online uh, results. That said, they have a Gift Storm in Modern, Ad Nauseum Tendrils in Legacy, Death and Taxes in Vintage. Um, so it's going to be a wild one. I'm not really sure what to expect here. I'm, I'm, I guess it's still Ant. I don't really know. 
That said, I don't think that this hand is a keep in too many matchups, so we're going to ship this. All right. Um, I think we keep this. And I think it's actually correct here to get rid of the Brainstorm. We don't have a fetch land to pair with it. And our hand's like pretty good. We don't really want to ship anything back. So at least the Preordain here will dig deeper while not locking us. Like, so Flooded Strand is most likely not Ant. All right, let's fire off a Duras. All right, our opponent's gonna activate Flooded Strand in response. Okay, Storm 2. And now Dress will resolve. All right, so we show until variant. Hmm. I think we're supposed to just take the Omni. Not feeling too good about this one. Like you could take a force there. I just, I don't know how much it matters. Okay, so they're gonna preordain. What we really want to draw is a green source so that way next turn we can Thought Seize plus Veil back up if they force trying to protect Show and Tell. They put two on top. Mm. Okay, I think I might uh, pre ring here looking for like a petal. Am I supposed to keep this? There's like no chance they would get threshold next turn so i think i'm actually going to bottom that and i guess if they're going to resolve show and tell i should take the misty because it's a free land in play force pitching force so they have the show and tell in hand okay it's gonna be tough to win this Oh no, did I? I might have punted by putting the Cabal Ritual on the bottom. Yeah. Because now I have to draw a plus one. We actually could have won this. So I think I'm supposed to fetch just to thin. And we know that the Cabal Ritual is in the bottom. So if I start off on. Uh, Veil of Summer opponent's probably going to draw seven and then just like Infernal Tutor t um, for Tendrils. So uh, I guess a land would be good here as well. Okay, so that's good. Let's Veil. Okay, so if they have another Force, that's Force three. If they find Force four, I'm just dead. Right, hold control. Haven't done that in a while. And then add three black. We're looking for Infernal Tutor to resolve here. Okay, so they can't force a will now. There is this free card though that they can play here. Ah, uh, all right. So the card that I didn't want them to draw was Days. Days would have been there out there. All right, so we got lucky and we won game number one. A little bit of poor play on my part. I shouldn't have bottomed the Cabal Ritual. Um, I didn't see that line until it was my opponent's turn. It was just too late at that point. So we probably want the Surgicals here and the Flusters, maybe. We definitely don't want Empty. We could board in Grape Shot if we think that they're playing Veil, but I don't know how much I actually like that. Um, I think maybe we just brought out a few Preordain here. Mm. Yeah, I think it's just priority, and we just want to be disruptive. You like could board out like an action spell or something, but I don't think that's correct. Excuse me. You could also not cyborg in the surgical, but I think surgical actually ends up being pretty good in this matchup. Just like being able to strip show and tell will buy you a lot of time. 
or just remove all their horses, that sort of thing. Right. Volcanic Island into Ponder. They shuffle off Ponder. Okay. I think I'm just going to lead on the Thought Seize here. Thought Seize is on the stack. And they have Days this time. All right, so they are playing Days. It was something that ran through my head when they didn't find one last turn after drawing 14 cards. Volcanic Island is back. I'm not going to jam Brainstorm into... Well, that was a good draw. I think we just play the island here. Because if I decide to Brainstorm it to play it into something, I don't want to have to use the fetch. By playing the island first, I don't uh, get this thought these days as well. All right, brainstorm is resolved. What's happening with you, Thoughtseize? They're going to force brainstorm or force Thoughtseize. Pitching show and tell—that's wild. Um, yeah, not a whole lot I can do about that. They're down to four cards in hand. Do they have another show and tell? All right, we're going to try to brainstorm here to hit claw. I mean, it's only a two of, so it's not super likely. Hmm. Okay, so we get to put Misty into play now and fetch. We're probably going to want to brainstorm on their end step looking for a protection spell. Okay. I could, I guess I could have brainstormed in response to the Gristlebrand activation, so that way this brainstorm doesn't get dazed. Oh, I, I just messed up. I was supposed to... Do I just draw the Cabal right now? Yeah, I'm going to draw the Cabal right. Yeah, let's turn off on Dark Ritual, because if I fetch for a green source... They could just force Dark Ritual and I can't win this turn. So that was the idea behind not fetching. So these do not have Threshold. I am one short of Threshold. I could have gotten Bayou, I forgot about that. This deck does in fact play Bayou. Um, so I can get Brainstorm and then try to hit a Lotus Petal or a Dark Ritual. Or I can just... Actually, I have to Brainstorm. So, the way that it works out is if I cast Cabal Ritual here, I can't get Hellbent. So I, I just have to uh, Brainstorm. Alright, so we hit the Dark Rit. Unfortunate that the, our first Dark Ritual didn't resolve because that Brainstorm gave us the Veil Summer we would have wanted to find. Okay, so they're drawing seven. They're really aggressive about countering these rituals. Cabal ritual? Cabal ritual? Shooter? They had nothing. Wow. All right. And just like that, we will get two wins versus a gristle brain in match number one with ad nauseum tendrils. Stick around. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this league. Match number two, and we are on the play against Mizzou 93. According to Goldfish, they play a lot of Delver. Well, there's not a single match where I would really keep this hand, so we're going to go to six. Sure. I mean, this hand's not great, but it's fine. And one of the benefits of running at Nauseam Tendrils is you do get to run a basic island. We're going to grab that with this Polluted Delta and then start the game off on Ponder. Island under. I think we're just going to shuffle that. It doesn't really uh, help us achieve our goals. 
Claw was a good draw. We just uh, need to find some lands now. Looted Delta. Okay. And uh, everyone's favorite Modern Horizons 2 card, Ragavan. Diamond was obviously a good draw. So now we're looking for land protection spell. Um, I mean, that was good. <laughs> um, I think I just put Claw on top. Both of them exile that. So I could Dark Ritual here and play directly into Daze. I don't think that's necessarily the smartest move. Um, so we don't really care about our opponent getting Wish Claw. In theory, I could have put back Infernal Tutor, but the reason I wanted Tutor is that if we empty or anything like that, our opponent's not going to get... Oh, they're not on Delver. Interesting. Okay. See if we can find a black land off this brainstorm. And we did. All right, so... Hmm... I could put back land dark ritual if i do that we have two cards going to the graveyard between the misty and the petal so that would be five um then thought sees it makes us slightly weak to days so i think the right play is actually to just get rid of the cabal rip And I put the Cabal Ritual on top because if I don't manage to win this turn, the Ragavan will exile Cabal Ritual. And uh, that's certainly a, uh, a hand. So this is one of those situations where if Thoughtseize was Veil of Summer, uh, our opponent is stuck in a really awkward situation because none of these forces would actually do anything. So this is a great example of um, probably why this card has fallen a lot, off a lot in the last few years out of the combo decks. Uh, because while this is triple force of will, force and negation also does the same thing here. So our opponent just has more opportunities to ever do that. And we just have to awkwardly pass now. All right, so one force down. Little surprised they didn't play the claw last turn if that was their hand. Okay, so another draw step was Versus Saga now. What I could do is just get them to force Infernal Tutor so that way any um, draw off the top from here on out is potentially alive. And this, oh no, they have two forces ah uh, all right so i'm wasting a dark ritual and a tutor here i forgot about the treasure i thought that they only had four lands not the best move okay so they get to play a land next turn and then they get a treasure off ragavan so they will have the mana to hard cast force again this might have been the right move. Uh, I'm not sure. You'd have to ask like an ant expert anyway, because I guess like it opens up. Uh, I would have liked that. I think we're gonna sit on that brain uh, for that tropical island in case you draw brainstorm. All right. So construct. That's going to shut off past in flames, so it's looking a little bit grim right now. All right, so they're getting in for six. They are representing lethal next turn. Yikes. All right, let's go to game number two. We probably want these abrupt decays. Carpet. Eve. 
Okay, so I do know that a number of players like to board out like pedals against, uh, or at least a pedal against blue decks because you just want to be more consistent in your boarding and carpet. I've also seen people shave a Cabal Ritual. I don't know. Uh, you can probably board out Ad Nauseam if you're boarding an Ave. That's probably an easy swap. I don't know if you're ever supposed to leave both Ave and Empty in. I don't have the experience to make that call. So I'm going to try both. I don't really know what's right or wrong here. So don't judge me too harshly. Probably board out at least two Preordain and then we have one more slot. I think it might be pedal, just because you're essentially swapping pedals with carpets. Yeah, like that. Okay, we're on the play for game number two. Seems fine. Need to draw protection spell. Okay, so we're gonna use Delta for Bayou and then play carpet. The reason I'm getting Bayou here is if I draw a um, a discard spell, I want to be able to have double block. Which might be like mitigated by having carpet, but it doesn't hurt anyway. You don't really need blue blue with this hand. And another rags. Alright, come on doc. Discard spell. A. All right, so I have a feeling we might be going into slime time right now. Thoughtsies. Why do you always have multiple forces? Come on, you jerk. All right, so we're getting rid of a force there, and we are not going to slime time. We are now asking for another uh, discard spell. Island, okay. So Ragavan is actually kind of terrifying in these matchups as well because your discard spells, that was good, um, can be used against you, which is just awful. So our opponent has these three plus one unknown in hand. We could slime them. Is that good? I think I'm going to pass. The reason that I want to pass is next turn, I think I could probably get them to force the Infernal Tutor. And that would create more. Like, I don't know if four slimes actually beat Saga plus Ragavan's uh, treasure. And that's sort of what I'm concerned about. So I'd like to get a higher storm count before um, making slime. They're on five right now. Ragavan. Under's a good reveal. All right. Interesting that they're not casting the ponder. So if they daze here, it's a little awkward. Okay. It's fine. I should switch phases. They have a blue floating. All right, so then in our second main phase, I'll add a block. And five slimes? I think five should be enough. So they can also force one here, so it's actually only four. Okay. Force pitch ponder. So they have two and uh they have Vulk and one unknown. So they cannot make another construct here. That said, uh they do get a card with the saga. And we gave them another artifact with the claw. Okay, so they used the soul guide. 
We still have empty in our deck as a possible win con. Oof. That hurts. Yikes. Slime time may not be good enough now. Yeah, I don't think we can win this. We don't have any outs to Murktide. We can't swing into that. So we're also at 13, so they only need to attack with Regent uh, twice. So they're getting one attack in now. And then we have a draw step where our Tendrils was removed uh, to Soul Guide Lantern. So we have no way of actually dealing lethal before the Murktide would kill us. All right, let's take our draw step. That doesn't matter. Okay. So we are now one and one. Womp womp. Hey there, round three, we're on the play against Clog W. And it'd be nice if we could stop uh, getting these no mana hands with Ant. More mana in the deck means you draw less of it. It's just science. So we're gonna ship this. And this hand seems fine. Um, probably get rid of the Wish Claw. I didn't bother to look up my opponent this round, but I'm pretty sure that they exclusively play um, like combo decks. Spiridane. Do we have a second turn ad nauseum? We could empty right away, but I don't really feel like that's a move that we want to be doing. Verdant. Okay. Womp womp. Goodbye, Infernal Tutor. We bottomed a Wish Claw. I guess we shuffled it after with Misty. So we have five tutors left in the deck. Draw. Decent. Hey, yo. Always had it. Always had it. So lucky. Magic is the skill game. All right, so Storm is six. I wonder if we just have a Past and Flames kill here. So if we get Piff, we'll have three floating. Um, so from there, I can... Dark Ritual up to five. Infernal Tutor for Diamond would bring us to six. So that's just a clean kill. All right, Dark Ritual. Tutor. So this is going to go get Lion's Eye Diamond. All right, add three black. And now we just Infernal Tutor for Tendrils. And just like that, we're going to win game number one over maybe Depths? I don't know. All right. I don't know if I'm supposed to board in Chains. I do think that they're a combo deck, but I don't know what they're actually on. Hmm. I guess we could like board in two surgicals as a hedge. Let's try this. Okay. This is a hand of Magic the Gathering cards. We will keep Serum Powder. I wonder if this is like the Turbo Smog deck. Looks like we're dead. Witherbloom? Yep. It looks like they just have it. Yeah, Turbo Smog indeed. Alright, so we uh not winning that one. Probably want some flusters. Get rid of this empty. Probably need Grape Shot. We saw Veil. 
Hmm. Wonder if we just take out the preordains, just more gas. Can probably get rid of surgical. I don't think surgical is actually very good here. You could board in decay. If you board in decay, I think you need to take out preordain. And I think I'd rather have preordain in the deck. Let's try this. On the play against Turbo Smog. Sure. Opponent going to six. Five. Looks like they might be keeping five. All right, two on the bottom. We're going to go get Underground C and Caster S. After that, we'll play out Diamond to avoid a discard spell. I think we're supposed to take the chain here. So they have more theoretical copies of the Apprentice, but there's only four smog in the deck. Where like between Summoner's Pact and actual um, Apprentice, there's like eight. So we're supposed to take the chain. And just pass the turn. So if we had Surgical in the deck, we could in theory Surgical the chains, and then the matchup would be a lot easier. Right. So we're gonna cast this Brainstorm now. Good draw. Don't need you. I feel like I'm actually supposed to put back the uh, Brainstorm. Spiridane. Get rid of these. We want mana. All right, hand's a little bit clunky. So our opponent has two unknowns at the moment. Mana. Oh, really? So, I think we're supposed to just play Claw Pass or, like, Infernal Tutor for Cabal Ritual. I might like that more. Now we have to hope to live another turn. Now they'll have three unknowns. So if they have an, a way of getting Chain of Smog, we're just dead. Uh, I mean, Misty was a pretty good draw here because it gives us Threshold. Okay, and I'm going to Veil in case our opponent like has a blue splash for Fluster or something. And we're actually just going to cast Ad Nauseam here. So part of the reason I want to cast Ad Nauseam is I we should be playing around Veil of Summer. And we need to Grape Shot for a whole bunch of mana. Leaving two red up, because if I need to pass in flames, I want a red still for the Grape Shot. Okay. So we're revealing here. I guess I'll pop this out so that you can see. Going to six. There's no six drops in our deck. There's no five drops, but there are four drops, and we have not hit them, so let's stop here. Okay, so uh, I think instead of like counting everything out, this is my own uh, personal opinion. Just cast some spells, see what you can do. Grass, see if they have a veil. Okay. And they do. All right, so Storm's 10, we need to Storm for seven more. One, two, three, four, Claw. I guess Brainstorm, see if we can convert here. Okay. Paddle. 
go get that grape shot. Brainstorm again because we can. All right, and everybody loves shots. Storm 20 grape shot. Woot woot. 2 1. Okay, round four, we're on the draw. I have no clue what our opponent's playing, but I'm going to keep this. Another Bayou. Okay, Elves. So we have a dead card with this Veil of Summer in our hand. Honestly, this hand's a little more reactive than what I would have liked to have kept versus Elves. But we're going to see if I can um, manage to scrape by a win here. Uh, I think I want to hang on to the fetch land in case we draw Brainstorm to convert this Veil of Summer. Get rid of the Heritage Druid. You could take the Nettle Sentinel, or uh, not the Nettle Sentinel, the Elvish Visionary in theory, uh, so that way they have less draws towards their live cards, but you still have a Thought Seize to discard any bomb that would have been drawn with the Visionary. I guess you could argue that like maybe I'm supposed to take Shepherd so that way they can't just like pay six mana and overrun. Okay. This is probably Visionary. Yep. So next turn they'll have four mana. Okay. So they can actually overrun now. 3, 6, 15. They have lethal. Oh, the other cradle is actually a really good draw. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just dead. Maybe the opponent will miss it. Oh. I'm getting bit for not taking the shepherd. Okay. Yep. Womp womp. Yeah, this this game loss is probably my own fault. I probably should have just taken the shepherd. Okay. So Veil Summer can get out of our deck. We don't really want empty. Probably want chains to help beat, um, like collector roof, that sort of thing. I think we could probably leave the rest of the deck. I don't think we really want to be siding in abrupt decay. Game two on the play against elves. Yup. Keep. We just want to find more mana. I am so glad that Ant players decided to quit playing um, Dark Petition in order to start playing Wishclaw Talisman. The card is just so good. Alright, our opponent is Mulligan to 6. Okay. We're just going to cast Preordain. I don't think we want the Thought Seize. We'll keep Trop. So now a Dark Ritual, a Petal, or a Cabal Ritual allow, I guess another Diamond 2 would allow a second turn ad nauseum. Alright, I'm going to just play the Trop and cast Brainstorm off Trop. If we hit here, and we did, um, I can win, but if I don't, I have the option to play Duress. So that's why I sequenced it like that. And I believe we should be able to set up a Chain of Vapor win here. Okay, so I'm going to hold control, activate, and Chain of Vapor the Claw, and then sack these for black, black. Okay. And then sack this to bounce the druid. 
So I can get Cabal Ritual. And the Cabal Ritual will be spell number 8. Cabal will be 9. Tendrils will be 10. I suppose I could just get a Diamond as well. Um, I guess Cabal Ritual plays around like a Force of Vigor potentially. I don't know. I guess I could do the same with um, LED too. It's just I don't have to think about the sequencing this way. In order to play around Force of Vigor with LED, you'd want to play LED and then Wish Claw. So that way Force of Vigor doesn't matter. Okay. I guess I could have uh, like tried to dunk on my opponent a little bit more. And is there a way I could have done that? I was trying to think if I could chain a vapor like one of the diamonds or maybe even the petal itself to um, not have any permanence in play whatsoever. There probably was an opportunity to do that. All right. So going into game three against elves, you could argue that like maybe you want Veil of Summer, but I'd rather just be proactive with my game plan and not have to hold up a mana on my opponent's turn instead of like casting a discard spell or a preordain or whatever this hand is uh something and i think that something is a mulligan it's just too clunky and too slow even if this swamp was like a fetch or maybe not a fetch land but if it was like underground sea i think i'd still ship this hand All right, our opponent's taking a mulligan, and we will as well. And we are definitely not keeping this hand, so we will be going to five. Our opponent's also gone to five. This isn't bad. Um, so there's a couple ways of thinking about this hand. We're definitely getting rid of duress. So then we have to put back one other card. So what we could do is... Put back a diamond and if you do that you have the out of drawing dark ritual to cast ad nauseum uh, another cabal ritual plus another mana source but we're also uh, expecting to face discard so you could put back the di uh, the ad nauseum and if you do any wish claw or tutor off the top wins so uh, like a discard spell against this hand doesn't really do a whole lot um and our opponent's gone to four, so I think they're looking for Thoughtseize. I'm going to do this. I mean, it could be wrong, but I'm still going to just keep this and look to draw Infernal Tutor or Wishclaw. I just think that Ad Nauseam is so valuable in the matchup that you really don't want it to be discarded. But we're also like likely to draw steps away. All right, there's Birch Lore. Okay, so now I'm going to look like a fool when I draw another mana next turn and could have cast Ad Nauseam. Give me a Claw or an Infernal Tutor. Let's go. Alright, opponent just getting in there. I wonder if they have like Green Sun for Oof. I'm going to fetch to possibly shuffle in that Ad Nauseam, but also just like in a little bit trying to uh draw into a tutor womp womp okay wrong one of what do you have opponent three cards they have to be good green sun for one okay so it looks like they didn't draw the mana source that they were looking for to be able to oof us they're probably getting like nettle sentinel here yeah okay come on deck be good to me let's go tutor i guess i'll take ponder there we go that's what the doctor ordered get underground tea because i can law Black and black. 
So the reason I did black black is we're going to cast that nausea. We want to be able to cast dark ritual. And now that uh, past and flames draw actually looks pretty good because there's no um, more fours left in the deck. I can flip. Yeah, we'll stop there. All right, ritual. I feel like we got kind of lucky this game, the fact that our opponent just didn't do anything because we were dead to a light breeze. Number three, one over elves. How about that? Round number five coming right up. The fifth and final match, we were on the draw against Fuzz. We actually faced them recently on Burning Ant. So let's see if they're on the same thing. This could possibly be a mirror match. Honda. The key is to say it like you're from Boston. Honda. Lasta. Just how they talk. All right, so we're going to go Underground Sea into Thought Seas here. Boom. Chose is not to shuffle. If they have an LED on top of their deck, we're just dead. I think I take the Brainstorm. All right, so we're playing the Ant Mirror in the year 2021. That's what it's come to. All right, are they hard casting Infernal to get another ritual? They are. Okay, so they have three dark rituals. All right. Ooh, so they have ad nauseum. All right, so no mana floating, ad nauseum. Okay. Hope for some whammies here. Whammies. Whammies. Flip piff. Flip piff. No. Come on. Don't do it. They could just stop and duress us. Uh-oh. So even if they flip past in flames now, we're dead. Um, so are they passing? Yeah, they're passing. Okay, so we need to get lucky to win this now. Pretty much just relying on brainstorming to the nuts. Okay, so they discarded Infernal like I thought they would, and now we are all in on Brainstorm just being incredible. Another Infernal Tutor off the top would also win. Okay. That is not going to be good enough. Um, you just have to cast Brainstorm. So we found our main deck Veil, which is actually pretty good for us. Uh, they probably have a group shot on their board for the Burning Wish, so there's a chance that we're just dead. I mean, we just have to pass here. Hope that our opponent gets a little too greedy. Right? Did not shuffle. Sorry about that. We are just so dead here. All right. I mean, they're almost 100%. If they're playing Burning Wish, they definitely have a grape shot on their board. But we have to make them show it. All right. So if for some reason, our opponent doesn't have grape shot. We have a past in flames win. But it should be pretty easy for them to just uh 
get up to 16 for the grape shot. Empty? What? And this is why you don't concede. <laughs> wow. All right. So they still have... Um, this gives them enough mana to... What are you doing? You're just getting diamonds? Okay. So, we... It's pretty free for us to just, like, brainstorm here to give us threshold for this Cabal Ritual. We've played our land. Cabal Rit. And Cabal Rit. Add three red. Flashback Piff. And it's looking like that main deck Veil just won us our game. And it did! How crazy is that? Tyler, you are so smart for including a main deck Veil of Summer. All right, so we get to bring in Flusta here in the mirror match, as well as Surgical. Board out this empty for a grape shot. So it helps you beat opposing copies of Surgical, but it also beats a Veil of Summer, which is pretty key. But we have to find four cards to take out. In my opinion, those cards are preordained. Um, it's just, this matchup isn't really about grinding. It's about disruption. And just doing your thing. So I think that you're able to board out preordain. Um, you could argue that like a skim method might be better where you just like remove like one cabal ritual, one lotus petal. But I don't really feel like that's what you want to be doing. I think you just want the best cards possible in your deck. And th that would be lotus petal, cabal ritual, all of that stuff. Because if you remove those, you're just you're not as explosive, you're not a, a good combo deck, you're just, you know, um kind of clunky. And this hand's just too bad. We can't keep this. If one of these rituals or the petal were a land, I'd probably keep this, but I think we just have to ship it. Yeah, um, this is a turn one Nas, so we're gonna keep this getting, like, yeah, the Bayou. Because if they discard us, we want the blue source to be able to uh, cast cantrips. And they're just going for it. But I have a turn one Nas. All right. I hope your Nas fails you. No pedals. No pedals. Come on, flip tendrils. 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 And drills. Come on. There you go. All right. They stopped. Coward. All right. So they have to pass the turn here, and we will cast our first turn ad nauseum. And ad nauseum has never failed me in my entire life. So I'm sure that we'll get the victory. That was sarcasm. So they went down to 30 cards in deck, which is a little bit improbable for them not to hit a pedal. Um, if you think about just like the basic like percentages that they would hit there, I almost feel like it's probably correct to keep flipping because I think that they just have one past in flames that kills them, but I don't know the configuration of their deck. Like, you're definitely more likely to flip a Lotus Petal than you are to die to um, Past in Flames. All right. Our turn, or time to cast Ad Nauseam, I should say. All right, so we're going to 19. We could have kept the Bayou. It's just that if we did, and they discarded our Ad Nauseam, we're just so unlikely to, like, come back and win that. We're, like, maybe a cantrip like digs us back in all right let's nose flip all right so we flip one diamond we're looking for petals 
We just conceded? Oh, we flipped the pedal already. I just missed it. Okay. Well, that would make sense. So we went 401, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Thank you, Tyler, for always submitting a great deck list. You're the best, Tyler. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. And if you want to be cool like Tyler, go to theepicsworm.com slash donation decks. I don't really have a whole lot of feedback. Um, I don't know how much I love the main deck Empty the Horns, but also it never really mattered. Um, ooh, come to think of it, there's probably a situation this week where I flipped when I wasn't supposed to because I forgot about the Empty being in the deck. That's on me. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. Keep storming. Have a great day. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.